This is my morning pill. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Can Tuffy ride in the golf cart too? Sure. Absolutely. Uh, Dennis? Yeah. Can you push that top button? Sure. Just needs a little air in the back tire. You have to pull that tire up. Come on, Tuff. Work it tough, he said. Okay, let's just take a cruise up and down the block. Come on, Tuff. Uh -oh. Did I do it now? Yep. Come on, Tuff. He likes it in there. <laughs> he don't want to get out of there. He likes it. You like it in there, Tuff? This is Evie. <clears throat> With Governor Reagan. She did all the phot photography work for his, his area and his campaign. Oh, this is Evie when she was about 19 or 20. Beautiful girl. Kid could have been a movie star. That's a nice picture of you and I. That's about uh, about a year after we were married. We're still happy. I don't think I've seen this one. No, I don't know who that is. Oh, well, they, they I, I don't know. They're in the neighborhood. They just wanted to be in the movie. They just ran down here and said, hey, if you're making a movie, we want to be in it any way we can. Exactly. And I said, we'll put your picture there. Oh, that's even a friend of hers up at uh, Bakersfield. She's gone. She passed away about a year ago. Everybody dies. Except me. die out of that water anymore. Look how healthy it is. And I love my ducks. This is Greg and Eve and Jan and Gail and Debbie. Aren't those nice ducks? 125 over 75, that's perfect. 59 pulse, oh God. You're terrific, honey. Of course. You get the eights first, then you get the zero, then you get the zero, and then you lie back and relax. <coughs> oh, oh his is perfect. Did you see my pacemaker? Right there. Oh, get a picture of that. Oh, this that's is, like an egg. This is the same one that um, Dick Cheney has. See, I've had, I've had two open heart surgeries. That's why I gotta have this in there. Yeah, it keeps you from having a heart attack. It's like 911. <laughs> yeah. 
What was your pressure here? 125 over 75. 60, was it? 75? 75. Oh, that was good. And, and the pulse was 6 over. 6 over. Oh, golly, what a, what a terrific pressure. Okay, now be quiet. This goes through these two fingers. Okay. Relax. Relax, relax. This guy needs it. Relax, relax. Relax. Relax, relax. See when that doctor put his arm around me? My pressure jumped down 30 points. He said, wow. <laughs> First it was 150. And they put his arm around me. 120, normal pressure. I go to this other doctor, it's 160 over 90. Can you believe this, that I am such a psychopath that I get the white coat syndrome when I go to the doctor? He's got good blood pressure, this guy. He responds to the touch of the human being. There's nothing better than the touch. But I'm an alien. He's an alien. He has no pressure. He has a way, he has a way of reducing. He likes to be tickled, don't you? That's good for you. That's very good for you. This is good therapy. My God, that's wonderful. Look is at it? that. 119 over. He's, God, he's got perfect pressure. What kind of radio is that? This is a regular radio radio. Why do they have all those tubes on it? Because that's the way it was built originally. had a tough childhood, I think. Yeah. He did have a tough childhood. He needed a father and he never he never had one and Greg was a father figure. It was the only one he had. Your gas? I want you to pull up and get some gas. Yeah we are. We're yeah, go ahead. I'll pay for it. No no no. no. We can top the tank. Good boy. The flags for your car, you can put these on your window. Proud to be an American. My parents were born in Sweden, and I went to Sweden a few years ago to see my mother's sister. My mother had passed away, and I slept in my mother's bed in the house that she was uh, living in. I think she was born in that house, too. <laughs> Be careful. Watch where you're going, character. <laughs> anyway, um, I met uh, my, uh, my aunt, aunt's uh, son. Uh, his name was Gunnar, Gunnar, and he couldn't speak English and I couldn't speak Swedish, but we fell in love with each other. So when I got home from Sweden, he called me at 2 o'clock in the morning, and he said, Hi, Gunnar, yeah. All he said was, yeah, Gunnar, yeah, Gunnar. I said, oh, Gunnar, you know it's 2 o'clock in the morning, yeah. Yeah. And that's all we said, and that's the last time I ever talked to him. 